the glasses on. How's it going, guys? You miss me? Of course you didn't. It's what it is. I had myself a shoulder bone broken. It is still mending right now. I am on so many pain pills, but not while I'm driving, because that's dangerous. But it still fucking hurts. That's why I made a video in a while, even though I've been posting pictures and talking to people, cool ones or jackasses, who or whomever you are, you know who you are, you fucking know. Anyways, I did this because I want to talk about the fact that you guys may have seen this post I made on Facebook. If you're watching this on Facebook, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know how the routine works. Uh, Blade Runner, 2049, sold like a shit ton of DVD fucking copies. Which is fucking weird because people don't sell a lot of DVD copies anymore. And the DC movie, Justice League, did the same fucking thing. Sold a lot of fucking films. Like, a shit ton. And to me, that's pretty fucking cool, you know? Like, it, I wish I knew the demographic of people who were buying it because I'm pretty sure I'm inside of it. Because I didn't watch any of those films in the movie theaters. Like, I don't I don't watch Disney, Marvel, food. No. Still haven't seen Black Panther. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait... After that SNL skit, I gotta wait a little bit longer to watch that fucking movie. I'm like, I can't do it. I gotta wait. I have to wait now. But, uh, I wanna know who's, like, sitting at home watching these movies because I don't know about you guys, but I think Rotten Tomatoes has something to do with, like, these people not seeing these fucking films. They always do, right? If Rotten Tomatoes says it's awesome, people say, oh, hey, yeah, I guess I'll go and see it because what Rotten Tomatoes says is cool. Now, I'm not trying to knock on people who listen to Rotten Tomatoes, because sometimes I do, too. Yeah, I can think for myself, but I don't know about you at home, but for me, I don't have, like, buco fucking bucks or fucking time to go out and see every fucking film that comes out. Like, I'm not going to watch every Disney Marvel film. I'm not going to watch every Fox Marvel film. I'm not going to watch every Sony Marvel film, every DC fucking film, every sci-fi, every nostalgia remake of something that comes out and watch that shit in theaters. Like, not going to happen. Not, not going to happen. Not fucking doing it. That's a lot of shit I got to fucking watch and endure and time I got to spend watching this stuff. And personally, personally, like on the end of everyone else who does this shit on a fucking constant, it makes you jaded. It makes you jaded. It makes you think you know better than everyone else out there. I literally just had a conversation with somebody about about a Superman story in the forums on Facebook about about how Sinestro is dumb and the comic book is a setup for another comic book, which is how Jordan and the Green Lanterns and Superman is an over exaggerated emphasis of hope. And I'm thinking to myself, duh fucking done. So, you're pissed off that a comic book is setting up another comic book with a story that is fleshed out linear and to the point, but that bothers you somehow. Why? Why would that fucking bother you? Why does that get you so fucking hot and bothered? That makes zero fucking sense to me, dude. When something does something that it's supposed to fucking do, why would you get upset about it? Oh man, my car turned over and like, you know, it runs fine. And I'm getting to drive everywhere I want to go, but that really makes me fucking angry. Why the fuck would you be angry about that? When well, stuff works the way it's supposed to, people still find a way to get pissed off about it. I, <laughs> I don't get it. Doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Don't get it. But <laughs> they get back to the critics. I have like one or two critics I listen to. Because like it's like having a doctor. You gotta have a second opinion sometimes. So I have one guy I listen to. And it's on a podcast, Film Spotting, if you guys watch it. That's that's who I would use listening to. So those two those two guys. So there's two opinions in one film and they hate superhero shit. So that that suits me pretty fine because they'll have someone else do the the reviews on those films. And again, that's cool with me. But I also listen to to Jeremy. Jeremy John, YouTube guy. He's a little fucking wacky. He's a little fucking out there. But I like watching his his videos. He's genuine, he's to the point, he'll tell you like what he didn't like about it without giving away too much spoilers about a film. So those are two reviewers or three all together that I listen to and like I respect it. And I'm not gonna shell out say 50, 60, 70 bucks for me and my family to go watch a film that two critics, three critics say like don't watch that fucking film because it's gonna be fucking as 
most of you like to say hot garbage so I just I can't and I don't get why everyone else want to go rush and see all these fucking films and the kicker to everything why the fuck would you care about how much money those fucking films make and get so possessive and territorial about it like why what is that gonna do for you did you fucking make these movies are you seeing that fucking cash load out there fuck no but I get the sense of pride you have like hey I helped make Disney buy Fox by then spending 52 some odd billion fucking dollars on that fucking company and I get to have my fucking X-Men because I did that I made that happen okay I guess but you know <laughs> yeah whatever if I can be genuine with you guys for a second I hate those fucking movies I can't fucking stand Guardians of the Galaxy it is land before time in fucking space yeah Land before time and space. Dude, just think about it. Just, just think about it. The one scene that really pissed me off was when Rocket Raccoon bared his fucking soul out to his entire fucking crew. And they all just looked at him and laughed in his face. Like, no more than 10 minutes of him telling that fucking story. I'm thinking to myself, why would you just make a joke about this dude and his body after he just told you his whole life story about how he is, what the fuck he is? Like, okay, I'm out. This doesn't make any fucking sense to me. This story is fucking stupid. Just just dumb just fucking just so fucking dumb I hate a dumb story I can't fucking stand it I just I we don't get along very well me and dumb stories cause that's, that's really all we have as human beings a good story that's it you either tell a good one you tell a bad one but everyone fucking does it we all do it it's just it's what it is <laughs> that has been my rant my tirade I'm your host D Enjoy FTO. If not, take it easy. Until next time, take it easy.